Did you know? The chain rule has been known since Sir Isaac Newton and Leibniz first discovered calculus at the end of the 17th century. The common notation of the chain rule is Jude Leibniz himself. El Hospital also used the chain rule. Well, enough of the historical background. Let us dive deep into the fun. Hello viewers, you are at the right place at the right time for some math magic. Allow the math magician to take you through the basics of the chain rule. So subscribe, share and comment. In today's video, we are going to look at the chain rule. This is differentiation, AS differentiation, right? So the chain rule mainly is used for composite functions or sometimes called a function of a function. So I'm going to show you examples of types of composite functions, right? So you can have that. So this is a, a function inside uh, the square there, right? For that, you can expand, obviously, for the first one, it's easy because it's square. You can expand the two brackets. But sometimes you go to the power 5. So this is a function inside a function which is raised to the power 5. Or you can have a square root. So the chain rule is mainly used for these types of functions, a function of a function. We're going to see in A2 that the chain rule is actually a powerful weapon in differentiating functions which have trig and say exponential functions involved or which have ln which are the logarithmic functions and say sine or cos involved. So we are going to make use of the chain rule. It is a very powerful weapon. So we are going to look at examples. So this is our first example here. Now remember what we said about the chain rule. It differentiates a, uh, a function of a function. So we have got this function inside that. Now this is our main formula for our chain rule. y is a function of u and u is a function of x. All right. So looking at that, you can see this function is, we can let that be equal to u. So we can let u be equal to x squared minus 4x. So we have let u be the inside function there. If this is u, it means y is equal to u squared. All right, so this is the first important substitution. u is the inside function, which is a function in uh, y is a function in u, u is a function in x. So our u is a function in x, and then y is a function in u. All right, now our chain rule requires us to have du dx and dy du. All right, so we are going to go from here. We are going to find du dx, right? So du over dx, right? So du dx, remember, if you're differentiating x to the n, it's n, x, n minus 1. If you're differentiating this, right? So this drops down. That's 2. x, 2 minus 1 is just to the power 1. Minus x, this is like x to the power 1. The 1 multiplies, so minus 4x to the power 0. So this is 2x minus 4. All right, so from here, we get dy du. So from here, we get dy du, right? So dy du, the 2 drops down, so it's u2, u, you subtract 1 to the power 1. All right, so going back to our chain rule, we, know we want dy dx. So dy dx is dy du, dy du, that's going to be 2u times du dx, which is 2x minus 4. All right. This is not our final solution, we have u. We have to go back to our substitution so that we end up with something in x alone. All right, so we go, this is 2, our u was equal to, we made a substitution, x squared minus 4x times 2x minus 4. All right, so this is our first example. Importantly, make sure you make the substitution. Let u be equal to that. u is a function of x. The second thing, if u is that, it means y is u squared. You differentiate each of these, and then you substitute them in the formula. The final thing, don't forget to substitute for u, because we want dy dx, we don't want anything with u, all right? So we substitute here u, and then we have our final solution. Example two, all right? So we're now having a square root sign. Remember what we said, function of a function. This is inside the square root. So the first thing, make sure you rewrite this. If you have a square root, rewrite using indices, right? So we are going to go, this is the same as y is 4 minus 3x to the power of the half. All right, so 
The first thing, make sure if you have a square root sign, make sure you use indices. Remember, square root is to the power of half. If it was over square root, it would be to the power of negative half. All right, we're going to do an example like that. All right, but for now, so this is our new example here. We need to let our substitutions, what is u, what is y then. All right, so let u equal to. Remember, u is a function in x. It is a function inside. So what is inside? This is inside here. So that is going to be your u. So your u is 4 minus 3x. u is the function inside. u is 4 minus 3x. If that is u, therefore y is what? This is u. So u to the power of a half. These are the first important substitutions you have to make. This is the thinking process. What should you let u be? What should be y? u is basically a function in x, the function which is inside. That's why we say uh, uh, the chain rule differentiates a function with a function. It is the function inside. What is u? u is the function inside here. All right. Uh, we require du dx, we require dy du. So we come here. From this, we will get du dx because u is the subject. Right. So we will get du dx here. Right. Differentiate a constant, remember, you get zero. Differentiate a constant. So if you've got f4, it's just like 4x0. So the zero applies here, you get zero. So remember, d dx of a constant here is simply zero. So differentiate 4, you get zero. There is power 1 here, remember, if it's just x. So the one who applies, you have minus 3. And 1 minus 1 on the power here, you have x to the zero, which is 1. All right. From this function here, you get dy du. All right, so dy over du will be equal to the half comes down, so it's half u, and you subtract one here, half minus one is minus a half. All right, now go back to the formula. So dy over dx is equal to dy du. dy du is that a half u negative half times du dx. du dx is minus three. Right. Remember the final stage. You don't have to have to leave your solution as a function in u. It must be in x. Go back to your original substitution. This was u, so it's substituting here. So this is going to be half. U was four minus three x, and this is going to be to the power negative half, and we are multiplying by negative three here. Of course, we can multiply that and that. So minus 3 over 2, 4 minus 3x to the power negative a half. All right. So that's the final solution here. I'm going to go over again. The first important thing, what is u, what is y? u is a function in x, y is a function in u. u basically is the function which is inside. So this is inside the half. So u is that. All right. So it means y is u to the half. You have your two substitutions. You need dy du du dx. So differentiate that you get du dx. Differentiate that you get dy du. Use the formula to substitute and you get that. You don't need u, so your final solution, put back what u was. This is our example two. Move it to example three. Third and final example. Right. So now you have got y is equal to 5 over 2x plus 7. What you want to differentiate the x is a denominator. Right, the first thing, use indices again to bring it up. So the indices is bending out on a number of occasions. Right, so we go here. So take this up. So y is equal to 5. This is 2x plus 7. It is now to the power negative 1. So if you have got something on the denominator here, you're using indices. If you have got a square root, you're using indices. So indices are also important here. All right, so now we have that. U is a function in X, Y is a function in U. This is a function in X. So let U be 2X plus 7, which is a function in X, which means Y is equal to, if this is U, this is going to be 5U negative 1. We've passed the first stage, which is the thinking stage. The next stage is just the application of the differentiation. All right. So from here, we get DU over DX. Right, so du dx, right? So we are differentiating that. So the one who applies, this is just going to be equal to, to two. From here, we get dy over du, right? The minus one comes down. So minus five u negative 
two. So the second stage, the application of the differentiation stage, where you get dy, du, and du, dx. The first stage, the thinking stage, what is u, what is y. The final stage is substitution in the formula. Therefore, dy, dx is equal to dy, du, dy, du, minus 5, u, negative 2. du, dx, du, dx, 2. Right, numbers can apply here, negative 10. But remember, the final stage, you don't need your solution to be in terms of u, you substitute back. So this was u. So 2x plus 7 to the power negative 2. Alright, so this is our final example. Uh, 